Silver Veil, Healing Orbs 1, and the 1, 2, 3, guys. Let's re-roll this. Uh, re-roll this. Alright. Let's pick up 1, 2, 3. Ooh, we do have Exalted since the start of the game. That is interesting. Why did I sell my snipers? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm not too smart. Ooh, that's a two-star Senna. Right off the freaking get-go. And we get exalted. Right off the get-go as well. That's a little bit too crazy right about now, isn't it, guys? That is a little bit too crazy, potentially. Oh, frick. And that I have a Ginsus for her? That is a little bit too crazy indeed, guys. What is happening? Exalted stage 2-1. Freaking Ginsu's 2-star Senna from the stupid Silver Augment. That's a little bit too crazy, guys. Are we gonna win streak with Exalted? Are we gonna win streak with Exalted? Oh, that is silly, guys. That is very silly. Let's pick up the better duelist. Um, okay, so we need to play Yasuo. Yeah, so, so again, we are on Mustarko, which is my Exalted account. Where I only play Exalted every single game. Like a boss, guys. Yeah, like a boss. Holy frick! We have another Exalted unit, by the way. But I don't think I want him. I don't need to buy him. Remember, we just need three Exalted. The rules are hold all the Exalted units until you get three. As soon as you have three, play three Exalted for the rest of the game. If you're wondering why I'm doing this challenge, because it's a fun challenge, right? We are only gonna do uh, play that one trait on this account, but this trait changes every game, right? Every game has different units that are exalted, so I'll always play a different comp, which is already fun, right, for the tubers. But then also, um, you know, we have a little bit of a challenge, because we have to always play exalted. Some games, it does not work out too well, you know? And then I go dead last. So we'll see how high of a rank I can reach playing this strategy. Of course, Exalted gives us some bonus damage that scales with the level, so early game that it, it isn't really a lot. But, late game, it will be a lot. And um, we get one bonus XP every time. I think I will level, I think... I definitely want to level. The question is, do we want to play Behemoth? Or do we want to play another dude? I think we play Behemoth, don't we? I think this is lovely, guys. If you ask me, I think this is absolutely lovely, guys. We're in a really, really good position. The question is, what do we play? It seems like if we if we keep this win streak, if we keep this win streak up like this, which is, uh, you know, might happen because this Senna is a two star right off the get go, right? If we get a sniper in here, we'll be super strong. But yeah, if we keep this win streak, we'll we're definitely going straight to level nine. We might even be able to skip level 9, depending on the augments. By the way, our encounter is just players start at level 3. The worst encounter in the game, in my opinion, is just very boring. And because it's at the start of the game, it uh, takes away the portal, right? So no portal this game. But yeah, we'll see what the next augment is. We get like something like Hedge Fund. Oh, guys, we're skipping level 8 and 9. You feel me, guys? I have a tier... I could go Senna reroll, of course, right? Of course we could go Senna reroll. The belts are being taken, though. Do I want... Um, I think I'll take a Protector's Vow. I think I'll go for the Protector's Vow. I think that's a completely fine item here. A Ghostly Warden. Does that do anything for us? Not really, right? Look how much money I have. Of course we took an Augment that gives us money, right? The units that it gave us, we sold most of them. But I mean, it, it's it's pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy, guys. 30 gold here is pretty stupid, isn't it? That is pretty freaking stupid, in my opinion. It's looking really good for us. Let me just scout the lobby to see what they are playing. Although, if I'm going level 9, right, it doesn't really matter if they're contesting. They're, they can't really contest. Unless they get hedge fund or something. We do need a sniper ASAP. I don't know why I sold that Kogma at the start of the game. I'm busy as freak, guys. First game of the day. Alright. Ooh, that's a bullseye, but luckily... Uh, 
uh, she is two stars, so she's tanky enough to survive that. Okay, one more win, and we are looking at a really good game. Easy level 9. Easy. And then level 9, what can we play here? Oh, that is just... I mean, it's just filthy at that point. I mean, at this point, it's just filthy, isn't it, guys? So we don't want to play Bard. We can play Nautilus Lissandra, right? That is perfectly fine. We can play Nautilus Lissandra, Yorick, Amumu. Set, uh, set, yeah, 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 yeah. Nautilus, Lissandra, Amumu. We get a, we get a bunch of trades right off the get go, right? We get a bunch of trades right off the get go. Where's Yorick? I are we are we are we winning this last fight? I think so. He's level five as well. He is strong. He has a two star tank, but I have a two star tank. And a 2-star damage dealer, but my damage dealer is a 2-star 2 cost and has a Ginsu's. Which is much, much better early game, as you can see, stacking it up and we win the fight easily. That is absolutely filthy, guys. We got 5 bonus gold as well from Exalted. 5 XP is basically 5 gold, right? So that is so good. Let us play the beautiful Ilawi as well. We get 4 Warden, 3 Exalted, 2 Arcanist, 2 Porcelain, 2 Umbrals so far. And now we play like an Udir, of course. Why wouldn't we? And we're already good to go, man. And then we play some AP carries, I guess. Do I need any of these units? Nope. And then we play some AP carries now because we have Arcanist, so we're getting some AP. Might as well. Something like this. Shall we? Cheers, my friends. And then we almost have Mythic. We almost have Mythic. Oh! Okay, it's an Ornite item. Prismatic Loot Orb. I would say that's good for me if I get something good. I would say that's very good for me in this position. As long as we get something good. Let's crack it. Do you think this is gonna farm? I think it will, right? Two star Yorick. Oh, the Gambler's Blade though, with the Ginsu's. They, in, in my opinion, they over nerf Gambler's Blade. It is good though, bro. The Mughal's Mail is also very good. I, I, I ran out of time. I'm sorry, I'm dumb as freaking. I got lucky. <laughs> Based. I herald the greatest blessings. I ran out of freaking time, but it's based. I think I'm gonna go for this Scarbreaker right away just to get stronger, right? We're wind streaking. We wanna keep wind streaking. Bro, I'm so glad it didn't take Trinity. I was like, hmm, which one should I take? And then I looked at the time and I was like, oh frick. It is what it is, guys. That's okay. He didn't farm, but not because he died, because the enemy just didn't have enough tankiness to survive long enough to attack the guy 40 times. So that's okay. Kubuko invites you to a dance party. Let's join him. We want bigger rewards. We get a nice little reward, man. We're chilling. This guy is going crazy, man. Freaking Puchita is going crazy. Didn't know Puchita could break it down like that. That's crazy. Okay, I think that's three either anvils or just three items. I mean, Young and Wild and Free is insane, right? I could just take heal reduction and just call it day. Just never have to worry about heal reduction. And this also gives me combat power. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it's three anvils. It's three anvils. Why, why are the anvils so buggy lately? I'm, I'm telling you guys. They're so buggy. Okay, what am I supposed to play here? I have a better duelist. Fated would be nice. I could level. I'm probably supposed to level. Just play everything, bro. Frick it. The, the anvils are so buggy. This feels weird. Um... I want to play Fated, but I don't have a Fated unit, that's okay. Ink Shadow would also be nice. The Dual Protection, insane. Okay. 
Do a freaking protection, man. Okay, we gotta play Ink Shadow. We gotta play Ink Shadow here. Instead of that Cho'Gath. Only three Behemoth. Only three Duelists, either. I mean, I can get a Duelist or an Ink Shadow here, I'm chilling. Alright, are we chilling? I think we're looking good. There is a girl, but I need her late game, right? So I'm good. I'm good on that. I need to buy her right now. I know I, it's crazy. I'm just playing Senna without freaking sniper. It feels so weird, but it's a two-star Senna, so who cares? This guy is strong, though. This guy is very strong. I'm a little bit afraid of him. Are we fighting him? We're not fighting him. Wait, so many people took Wild, Young and Wild and Free. One guy. This guy has it from the get-go already. Okay, the, the two other people have Young and Wild and Free, so I need to be very quick. I need to be very quick. I can get caught. See, this guy is so strong, man. I said it. See? See how strong he is, man? Frigate just win anyway? Frigate? We win those? Woo! Crazy, man. That was so close. That was so freaking close, man. Mm, what do I want here, man? just want to complete that Yorick item, though. I do not need Sunfire. Okay. I'll take a beautiful Warmogs. Wait, I don't even have Young and Wild and Free. <sighs> Wait. Wh why was I thinking about Young and Wild and Free? I took the heal reduction thing. Wait, am I freaking dumb, man? He didn't proc it even once yet. Yeah, but... It wasn't because the enemies are killing him too fast. Except for the ghostly guy, but ghostly is designed to kill your tank fast. Like, it, like you know what I'm saying, man. Okay, hold up. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to play this now. Instead of four duelist, for sure. That adds way more damage. And then I could play something else instead of... The Yasuo I have to play, right? He's exalted. We, we have to keep Yasuo. Remember, it's a exalted challenge. Freaking exalted challenge, guys. We gotta keep exalted. Here we just add Lilia level 10 or what? Is that our board? I think that's our board. It's a pretty freaking good board, no? That's a pretty freaking good board. Lissandra can farm items. Actually, crazy, guys. Okay, last augment is guaranteed to not be uh, silver, right? Double silver. Guaranteed uh, last augment is either gold or prismatic. I think it's a 50 50. Remember, guys, there's certain rules to how the augments can show up. There's a table, you can just Google it. I don't know everything by heart, I just know this one. Because I know double silver is boring as frick. But at least we're guaranteed to get something exciting later. Am I supposed to level here? Like, I'm kind of down, but I'm also kind of not down, you know? Nah, it's such a bad interval. I'm over-leveling by three. Nah, I'm definitely not down to level. I could play four duelists, right? Nah, I'm not down to level, bro. Like, I, I beat the ghostly guy, I beat everyone else, no? And I just got I just got Sniper. Sniper is kind of a big deal. Guys, yeah, Sniper is a big deal, bro. Alright, this guy is a little bit scary. I'll keep it a stack. He also high-rolled the Nashers too. On the Zyra, and he has a 2-star Soraka as well. All of his backline is 2-star. But my, my dude is tanky as frick. He's farming gold this time for sure. And remember, guys, this is not just the gold that we're getting from this, the two gold. It's also making him extremely tanky, which allows me to stack up my Ginsu's on the, uh, on the, on the Senna, and that is just amazing. Darkness and light. Okay, that ain't bad. There's a Ink Shadow unit, by the way. But I feel like um, Umbral is more important. That's why I didn't change it. The greatest blessing. Ooh, okay, I don't need Senna. I don't need Senna long term. I'm not only gonna sell her when I'm level 10, man. Or not level 10, but you know. I'm selling her at level 9. Okay, oh, I shouldn't pump. I shouldn't pump. Maybe there's an instant encounter, right? If there's an instant encounter, I get. Um, uh, I could get Kha'Zix encounter, right? That makes my level ups cost less. So that was a mistake. We should just be patient. There's an Amu um, the items are looking fine, honestly. The 
items are looking fine. There's an encounter there. I cannot wait for that. That's stupid as frick to wait. I feel like four duelists is better. I have so much front. I have so much front line, right? I need more damage. I feel like four duelists is better. No, it's not, man. No, it's not, guys. Okay, I'm pretty sure I should be going for a crown guard. But I have so much frontline items already. Ah, bro, I, I, I want to go for a crown guard, though, man. I'm farming money, but I think this guy's gonna die. And his, his frontline is so tanky, but ah, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I'm chilling, I'm chilling, guys. Okay, this is looking really good. Frick the Yasuo. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, Ink Shadow Crest. That's terrible, though. We do not need that. Stand United, right? Stand United? Stand United? Enough trades to, to make it work. Jewel Lotus, we already have it. Stand United is good here, man. Also, I need to swap this team. I need to play Irelia. Okay. Stand United is good for sure. This is not good. The Harmesis is also good. Nah, Stand United is so worth here, man. Okay. Cut potential. Umbral doesn't do a lot. I can definitely get stronger. I can definitely get stronger by not playing Umbral. Like, I lose a trade, but I play a freaking, freaking 5 cost, you know? I play a freaking 5 cost. Um, mm, this guy's too tanky, huh? I think this guy's too tanky. Is he though? Oh, the Rakan is insane. I should have give, given the Rakan Gunblade, man. I think I'm gonna do it. Like, I'm thinking about Gunblade. Also, I need to somehow include I really don't know. Somehow include I really don't. For sure. Eagle summons a random 5 cost spirit to help for 3 player combats. I got an Irelia. I mean, sure, it's 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 armor pen, it's not even bad. It's actually not bad. Bro, I'm almost level 10. I, should I just level? Frick it? I'm kinda down to just level. And then just go fast 10, no? No, I'm only making 10 then. It's kinda cringe. I'm gonna level next turn. I'm down to level next turn, no? It's gonna be 60. It's gonna be cheaper. Am I making a gunblade? I think I'm making an Edge of Night. I think I'm making an Edge of Night, actually. I'm not sure if this is the optimal play, but Edge of Night on set is gonna be good, you know? And it's four Warden set. It's a big deal. I definitely want to itemize him. Ah, this guy's too tanky. This guy's too tanky. That's okay. We, we we had a good run. We had a good run. We had a good freaking run, didn't we? We did have a good run, though. For sure. Still have a decent amount of trades. Uh, the reason why I have to play Irelia is just because I have Irelia items. I could also just play Zaya instead of Irelia. But I think Ginsu's is worse than Zaya. Honestly, who the frick cares, right? Mm, I can definitely make a better level 10 team, no? I can definitely make a better level 10 team. I can definitely make a better level 10 team, but I'm not sure what. You think I can just play Zaya? Dragon Lord? Dragon Lord. Like, I would love to play Dragon Lord, right? Okay, at that point, am I not just maximizing trades? Like, this this maximizes trades pretty well, man. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 trades. This one doesn't count, I think. The unique trades don't count. Otherwise, you would just flood the legendaries, right? The unique trades don't count. 
Level 10, 9 trades. That's pretty good, no? That's pretty freaking good, guys. Level 10, 9 trades. Oh, but we don't, we're playing Zaya without Trickshot, then. That seems really... Nah, that is unplayable. This is definitely our core. This is our core. We can play I really Ali Sin. I really Ali Sin. And then play Rakan. Rakan kind of weird though. Uh, I'm already dizzy, right? I'll just take this. This is gonna this is gonna be easy to use. I'm already freaking dizzy, right? Let's be real, guys. I mean, we're going straight to level 10, right? Ah, oh, what's better, guys? What's better? I'm not sure. I really are Lee Sin. Rakan. I don't know, bro. I'm almost Ink Shadow. I could play Ink Shadow somehow. I could play Ink Shadow. I always lose some traits. I always lose some traits. I should try to play two Warden only, right? I don't have to play 4 Warden. I do not have to play 4 Warden. I mean, we're just gonna lose these fights, man. We're not... We have 100 gold in the bank. You can't expect to win with those... That much money in the bank. This is all planned. Okay, hold up. Hold up, guys. Can we play 2 Warden only? It's a little bit weird, right? It is a little bit weird, but what if we... What if we play Nico? And then we don't play him. Nico. And then we play this. And then we play this. And we play this. And we play this. Bro, I need a tactician's crown, man. Frick. Okay, that is insane. We can just use her as an upgrade right now. Um, I'm definitely rolling a little bit. Guys, I'm, I, I don't think I've been dizzy. Frick, I took out Exalted, man. I'm dumb as Frick. I took out freaking Exalted, man. Hey. I'm dumb as hell. It's okay, guys. We're back. Wait, are we winning this? Loki, we are. Loki. Loki, we are. High key, we are. Holy Frick. He has no damage. What are we doing here, man? I kind of want to not roll. But at the same time, I want to roll, you know? But I kind of don't want to roll. But at the same time, I feel like I have to roll. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. Alright, which items does he get? I think he gets Dragon Claw. He doesn't get this. This guy gets this. We get this. We get a pair of this. We have a lot of units. We didn't skip level 9, but that's okay. We have like two trades active for my freaking augment. I'm dumb as freak. But it's okay. We'll get there, guys. We'll freaking get there. I'm trying to figure out the perfect one. That's just dumb, right? Because here I'm triggered now because I almost have... Seven, eight. Only eight traits. I feel like the previous one was better. But at the same time... The power of a dragon. Bro, can I get a... Can I get a Lissandra? Thank you, man. Okay, hold up, hold up. We're back. We are... Barak. 
There we go. That's a lot of traits, isn't it? That's a lot of traits. We're freaking back. That is not too bad. Let's just chill with this for now. One star, I really I don't even have a pair. I don't need least in two freak this unit. And I think now we can go level 10, no? With this. Without losing too much health. As you can see, we're even winning. Because I mean I really are with a lot of frontline, is I really are with a lot of frontline, isn't it? And then we're getting a bunch of things, yeah? A bunch of stats from uh, Stand United. For every trait we have, we get a bunch of attack damage and AP. So now I'm thinking here, what do I want? There's a QSS, but it's not that good. I would really like a lifesteal item on, on, on Udyr. There isn't anything, huh? I'll just go for an Archangel on Udyr. Can't be that bad. Frig it. If we get a lifesteal item, he's gonna be fine. Empty empathy. I mean, bro, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good, man. It's just Udyr with that. Bring it. Do I go Edge of Night on Udyr for now? I'm just trying to get level 9, right? And I'm just trying to reach level 10, right? So this is all good. We just play the strongest board until level 10, and then we roll down again. I'm selling set, I'm making 50, alright. Okay, I got it figured out. We got there, I'm gonna give her rod so she can farm herself more items. Higher chance, if she has a little bit of AP. This guy's 3 star Janna, so we probably lose. But that is A-OK, -okay, right? Unless my Irelia goes crazy. Did my Udyr die through Edge of Night? It's kinda crazy, bro. That is kind of crazy. Okay, and then level 10, we slowly but surely replace the stuff that we don't want, right? Until then, we'll figure it out. Is anything contested? Lissandra is a little bit contested. This guy's a 3-star Yoni. He's really strong. He looks weak, but he's really strong right now. I need to try to uh, trap him. I need to try to trap him. Is he not going to move him? Okay, the Lissandra will attack him. Okay, I'm not against him. I need to try to use the pot on the on the Yone, right? Alright, I mean, we're getting a decent amount of AP and AD. Does that augment tell you? No, it doesn't. You would have to count. But I already um, tested it once with these uh, lovers, spirit walker, these unique traits, right? For the legendaries, they do not count. It does not count towards it. Because that would just be too OP, right? You could just play all of these not even make it skillful. Like, this is pretty a skillful augment, right? I mean, it's only skillful until people always figure out the best comp to use with that augment in the set. And then, yeah. I think now with, with the, with the Irelia pair, I think we're just playing Irelia. We have such a good frontline. Irelia shines the most with a good frontline. So I think we're just playing Irelia. We're playing this. We're playing this. We're playing this. We're playing this. We're not gonna play set. We're not gonna play Umbral. We're gonna ditch uh, the the Thresh at level 10. The Thieves Glove on somebody else. We're gonna keep playing Rakan. We're gonna... I think we're just adding... Uh, I, think, I think we're just adding the girls, man. This makes me much stronger, obviously, right? I think we're just adding the girls. The, 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 the monkey and the girl, right? The Soraka and the Wukong. I think that's all we're doing. I'm gonna sack one more. 68. We are on interval though. I would have to wait more. I think it's fine to sack even two more. I think it's fine. I think I'm strong enough. With two star, I really am basically like this is basically almost as strong as you get at level 10. I think I'm just gonna go Hodge. Starting mana on her. So she can pot the, the Yone faster and stuff. She potted the freaking tank, man. I mean I probably lose against Yone, right? It's a very good. It's a very bad matchup for Irelia. She's just gonna die now. Yeah. It's a really bad matchup for Irelia. I mean, what 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 else is new, guys? You lose to Yone. What else is new? Nothing. That's just how the game goes. Okay, 19 health. I'm not dead yet. I can sack one more. And then I'm, and then I'm on perfect interval. Okay, so I need to figure out what I'm adding here. I'm keeping all of these. I think it's just Wukong, Wukong and Soraka, right? 
I'm keeping all of these idiots. Oh, and a Nico would be nice, huh? Ah, but Nico isn't even needed. No, Nico would be nice, bro. Oh, but now no, this is without Irelia. Wait, wait, wait. This is without Irelia. This is without Irelia. What about what about more? What about more Dragon Lord? But it, 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 like, if I go with three Dragon Lord, I'm basically wasting trades that I could be getting with different units to get an additional trade active right for this augment. So I feel like it's not worth. If it was four Dragon Lord, easily accessible. Then it would be worth because it's an AoE stun on the entire board. But, um, like, I'm not getting the stun, right? I would have to play Janna for a stun, and I'm clearly not gonna play Janna. I'm willing to play Diana because she gives me Sage as well, right? Sage with Wukong. Right? That's what I'm really trying to get. This nice, like, Omnivam for the frontline. It's pretty good. And now I think we're on perfect interval. We're not on perfect interval. I mean, I can sack one more. But I feel like the game is over then. I'll just level you. Hello? You ready for me? Okay, so we're doing this. Who gets Steve's love? Wukong, right? Know him. Okay, I am insanely strong. I have so many traits. Remember, three of them don't count towards the thing, but it's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is very, very solid. And I think that's a double kill right there. GG. We got a little bit dizzy along the way, but we got there, didn't we? We dominated the game with Exalted. Not too bad, guys. First game of the day. We got dizzy, guys. I'll keep it a stack. We got dizzy. You know what I'm just happy about? The Yone 3 lost. <laughs> he got third instead of second. Not too bad, guys. We will take it. Subscribe and hit bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.